Hello everyone! In this short video we're going to review the memory section of the Aptin report for a test we did on an Android app. So here we can see we ran a test on a Google Pixel 2 with Android 9 and almost a 3 minute test that we did using Aptin Desktop. So in this uh, summary section we get certain warnings. In this case we can see that the heap delving memory maximum usage was high we will soon explain what this, what this means, but uh, the we see that the application used 306 megabytes of the Dalbig memory at some point during the test. When we scroll down, we, can, we see a video with the uh, actions taken during the test. This video is automatically generated at the end of the test session and it is accelerated for easier navigation. The real stuntum of the test uh, can be found in the top left side of the video. Below the video we can find all the graphs related to resource usage. So in this case we want to check what happened with uh, the memory. As we saw there was a warning in the summary section. So I'll go ahead and open the section and we can see all the graphs to analyze the behavior during the test. So when we expand this section for an Android app we see that there are two different types of memory. On one hand, we have the native memory, which is typically used for bitmaps and other native libraries that use memory. Generally, when we talk about native, we refer to implementations in C++. And on the other hand, we have the Dalbig memory, or the Java virtual machine in Android, where all objects used by our application are stored. If we sum them up, we get a close idea of the total memory used by our Android app, but there are still other things that are stored in memory, such as the source code, shared memory, that are also part of the memory used by the app. So that's why Aptin has, uh, that's why Android has a specific measurement for the total memory used by the app, which is called PSS, uh, that stands for proportional set size. So we can see also the total memory used by our app in the PSS memory graph. So in this case, we, uh, we saw there was a peak, uh, we had a warning that there was a peak in the Dalvik memory. So we can actually go to our graphs and we can see that the peak reaches 306 megabytes uh, at this time of the test, almost uh, two minutes, uh, which generated the warning that we saw before. The fact that our app uses 300 megabytes of memory is not a bug or an issue by itself. It will depend on the device we're using, the amount of apps that are running, that are also using memory at the same time, and other aspects to see if this is a problem or not. I will say that what's important here is to review why at this moment of the test the memory went up from 100 megabytes to 300 megabytes. Something relevant happened here that required our app to use 200 megabytes more memory. This is when we can talk with our developers and understand better why this is happening and if this, if this is something expected or not. The good thing here is that after our memory increases to 100 megabytes, it goes back to the, its original state, which means that the memory that was used temporarily was then quickly released. As you may know, virtual machines count of a garbage collector, which is part of most modern prog programming languages, uh, and it's a mechanism that automatically frees up memory uh, that is not being used by any thread. So, if we scroll down, we can see how the garbage collector performance is. This is usually improved in almost every Android version, but it can still cause some performance issues. So, Aptin collects both the post times and the total times taken on each garbage collector cycle. You can see that in this graph. The pause times are shown in green. Uh, and consider that the garbage collector pause time taken should remain constant during the session, regardless of the heap size. This pause time should be small enough. In this case, we can see that most of them are 3 milliseconds or less. Uh, we should try to keep at this level. Uh, we will avoid skipping frames and other processing issues. So it's important also to take a look at this, at this graph as well.